Most people have a favourite spy. Often it's fictitious. James Bond, Sterling Archer, Maxwell Smart. But there have been a lot of very real terrific spies over the last 150 years. Whether they were good or bad is often determined by which side of the fence they were on. Uh, Richard Sorge, Kim Philby, Matahari, Josephine Baker, uh, Nancy Wake was my favourite, she's the White Mouse, the uh, Australian runaway teenager who uh, went to Europe and joined the French resistance. But for my mind, the greatest of them all was Pham Suan. Pham Suan joined the communist resistance during World War II and fought the Japanese. He was already in place and he went and studied journalism in the United States. He came back, he worked for Vietnam News, he worked for Reuters News Agency and Time Magazine and a whole host of major mastheads around the planet where he had become the person to go to for any journalist who came in to cover the war. And the entire time he was a spy for Hanoi and over the years he became their most treasured asset. Ahn contributed important information about battlefields, troop deployments, and he had an integral part in planning Viet Cong offensives. But perhaps his greatest achievement was by manipulating the media, he convinced the American public that America was losing the war in Vietnam when in fact they were winning. And that included the 1968 Tet Offensive which turned American public opinion against the war. And this le eventually led to the uh, disengagement of American forces and eventually the communist victory over South Vietnam. And that's why I wrote the book, The Punji Trap, Farm Suan, The Spy Who Didn't Love Us.